Demos, and they always have to wear it on their back hip, and we say it's a new definition of talking out of your butt. So, <laughs> today we can talk forward. Uh, so I, I realize I'm Mary Long. Welcome everyone to I Heart Plein Air, and uh, thank you so much. There's actually a couple extra chairs. Um, I was going to tell you anybody in uncomfortable chairs, we play musical chairs, but actually they're all equally uncomfortable. <laughs> pretty, good. pretty good? Okay, good. So um, we have a really jam-packed day, and we're very glad that everyone is here. We hope that you will uh, contribute in however you'd like. We're very excited about all the um, different kinds of things that we'll be learning. We've put this together based on some of the things that you've been telling us that you would like. Um, we have um, uh, goodie bags out there for you. You may not even want to get them because there's no extra room to put them under your seats or whatever, but we can, we'll work with that. There's also, as I've said, coffee, seven boxes of coffee, so please drink up. And, uh, and uh, yeah, tell somebody on the end to get it for you. Um, I just want to real quickly tell you that restrooms are right around the corner here. So if you go out here, you can go either right around the corner, and it's under next to the stairway or upstairs. There's one right above that on the second floor. So if you're looking for a restroom after all that coffee, yeah. um, we'll be. Uh, let me just tell you um, also real quickly just um, that we will have lunch probably around 12:15. Um, the lunches will be coming in if you ordered it. Uh, there's a little bit of room in the refrigerator if you brought a lunch and want to throw it in there for the rest of the morning, that's fine too. Um, just move things out of the way and put your name on your lunch, just like in school. Um, so uh, with that, I just want to also say that um, we have a lot of people to thank who have made this possible today. Um, that We've had a, our steering committee, which if anybody wants to be a part of it, that's what makes you eligible. Um, to be part of it. <laughs> or if we learn somehow that you have some special uh, uh, talent that we need, you might get, you might get asked. But, uh, so let me just say thank you to a few people. Um, first of all, we have uh, Lori Kennard here. Um, and Lori's been working with us in Fabiola. Um, Rokena is here. Um, and we have, uh, you probably met Barbara Herring out um, at the checkout up there, and um, we have Ann Gallagher, there's Barbara back there, and uh, Ann Gallagher uh, has been working, and Barbara, can you grab that door? There's somebody trying to get in. <laughs> um, uh, uh, and we also have um, uh, Junior, where's Junior? Um, He's the chairperson, um, literally. <laughs> Thank you. And Jerry Stevens. Um, there's Jerry. Uh, and uh, Jerry's been working on exhibits um, uh, along um, uh, with um, Jen and um, Stanley. And we also have Monica Arturi right here who's been working on events. You'll meet all these people later, but if you have ideas for any of them, please uh, connect them. I also want to thank um, <laughs> Steve Petrick, who came to my rescue, our rescue yesterday, by, look at this cool projector. Um, and uh, so we have um, that, thank you. And Steve is going to kind of uh, co-anchor this with me today. Um, did I forget any Robin um, uh, Strand? And I feel like I'm thinking in my mind how I put them into emails, a lot of emails. Um, and uh, should I, Daryl? Pardon? Shafali. Oh, Shafali. And is Shafali here? Oh, there they are. Right. Thank you. Oh, that's part of them. That's that's part of the group. Great. Um, so let me just real quickly, I'm pretty sure in the back you won't be, oh, of course, Susan Havey, who's standing right here. <laughs> so, thank you. Susan um, is going to be um, our, uh, she's recording this for us. So um, uh, she'll, we'll, you'll be able to see these. We, we will post them on our um, website. Okay, that's why you're standing. Oh, we don't mean to make you stand. I'll try oh, to okay. stay in one place. <laughs> <laughs> and Joey will have to watch as well. So, Okay, so let me just tell you a little bit about the morning and then I'm going to turn it over to Steve to talk a little bit about um, the thoughts about the day. I want to talk to you about it in terms of um, just what we'll be learning. That's the piece that um, I bring to it, is just kind of thinking about how we put this together. So I want to tell you a little bit about the agenda. Um, we, uh, I had this wonderful um, uh, serendipitous experience of eating lunch up in Door County at the Plain Air event. And uh, I was all by myself at that point because, uh, um, you know, people take longer to paint, so I was just sitting there eating lunch. 
and a man was sitting next to me, and finally I turned to him, and we started chatting, and um, it was um, Joe Hirzak from Blick. And so, of course, I took the opportunity to ask him if he might want to come to Chicago sometime, and he said yes. <laughs> so um, that, that's how it all started. See, you paint. So so that's how we have it. Joe's going to be doing two different presentations for us today. One is about beginning the painting and getting going, and this afternoon we'll talk about finishing a painting. But what we decided is that we would split those up because they're really two very different things. But we're also going to go a second step in that in that uh, finishing the painting. We've asked uh, Nancy King Mertz, who is probably setting up a little bit. In, oh, there she's in the back. Hi, Nancy. Because um, Nancy not only is a phenomenal painter and uh, uh, pastelist and uh, somebody that we use as a guest artist, um, but she also has a frame shop right here in Chicago. And she's going to be talking about framing in the field when you're doing quick paints and what you have to do with that. And then, but really more generally and in a bigger picture, what do you need to think about paint or uh, framing? So we'll have um, Nancy talking about that later in the day. We'll also have, um, we're, we want to, um, when talking with Joe, I, for, I don't know. For me, for painting, it's it's not just an act. It, it has so much more. It's my life. It's my retirement. It's my, you know, I've been thinking about it for years. I came to painting mainly, um, almost, again, serendipitously driving along a road in Taos, New Mexico, seeing two people in um, a pickup truck painting a beautiful scene. And I, I was maybe five years from retirement at that point, and I said, I want to do that. <laughs> and... I don't know, a few weeks later was in uh, Cedarburg, Wisconsin, riding my bicycle, rode into the town to go to the bathroom, I'm sure, and there were people at easels all over the streets, and, but there's a sign that said Plenary Pain. And it's like, wow, I had a name for it. It wasn't just two people in a pickup truck. But it, uh, <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. So at that point, then, I went back, Googled, found a class at Lill Street that was like the next weekend, then ended up um, just right after that, somewhere very close after that, uh, with finding something online uh, that was up at um, Mellon Island School of Art, uh, with Thomas Schaller doing a watercolor, because I thought I wanted to do watercolor outside, silly me. And, um, <laughs> but I met Steve and Bobby there, and that was when I learned more about the scene in Chicago. So that was probably five years ago, maybe four years ago now, five years ago, and that's how I came to it. But I mean, I think, but this is life. This is my life in terms of now, and now I'm retired, taking classes, uh, the fundamentals class here. Anyway, I'm trying to say that because the first session that we have with Joe is not just about painting. It's really thinking about the mindset of the artist. The next one after that, we're going to go deeper with that too with Steve. If you know Steve, it's, it's really about um, heart and soul. And so we'll be talking a little bit more about going to the sort of the center um, of the artist, and we'll be thinking about that. And also with our paintings. Now, we're going to want, uh, I'm just thinking about this, um, I think you're going to want your goodie bags because if you don't have somebody to take notes with, do you need goodie bags? Do you need the, um, do you want some people taking notes, right? Yeah. 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 So we'll make sure that I think maybe the best way is for our team to, um, uh, hand them off to you down the lines if you don't have one. So maybe um, as just before we get going here, we'll do that. But there is a um, Blick particularly put in a schedule for us. So take some notes. Um, and in a few minutes, I think uh, we'll, we'll keep things kind of. But anyway, so that's that's kind of the day. Does that sound like something that might be valuable? Yes. At the end of the day, I'm going to ask you the same question: Was this valuable? So I want you to be thinking about that during the day because then we're I mean, you're going to get from me at the tomorrow or the next day an evaluation that says what wasn't valuable and what was valuable. So I want you to be thinking about that because we want this to be good for you. So if that all makes sense, um, and if this sounds valuable, I'm going to turn it over to Steve and really start the program. I, I don't think I need a uh, mic. Everybody can hear me? Well, uh, speaking of value, I just want... Do you want to do it in front of this? Sure. <laughs> Speaking of value, Mary mentions that uh, to join this group, $65. This today is a huge gift to you. I want you to, to be present, to be fully present in this day. Take notes, record, 
pictures, video, however you want to memorialize this day, because this is a special day. Uh, this is entirely for you as an artist to grow and develop your skills. Uh, Joe is a phenomenal artist. Uh, pick his brain. <laughs> Get as much as you can. Be a sponge today. Absorb as much as you can. Uh, Nancy is just topping her game. There's Errol in here. He's a plein air artist extraordinaire. There's, there's talent in this room that goes beyond. Uh, and everybody brings their own skill levels. So, you know, enjoy the day. Take notes, ask questions, find people, uh, and just be a, just be a sponge today. Uh, this day is a gift for you. Really, this, this day, if, if you were to monetize this thing, it, it would be about $650. It would be 10 times worth. Lee Radke is in this room, too. <laughs> He's going to be on the panel later. Uh, so, so, yeah, just... This, this day is, is tremendous value for you, and just be present, be active, and uh, yeah, let's let's have fun. All right, that's it. All right. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you. I do have a nice handout. Um, I, it'll, I'll send it out with the evaluations. Okay. Good. So, so Good. I'm sorry about that. It must be with the tickets. That's okay. <laughs> and one other thing. But, um, so I just want to take a second because we do have a couple minutes ahead here. Uh, I want to have you introduce yourselves. And maybe we could go through the room quickly. We, I didn't do it earlier this morning because I know we want to get um, around. Um, and maybe what I'd ask you to um, say is introduce yourself. And also we're going to have lunch after this. Which Fabiola will tell you about in a minute. But um, so you may hear some people that you want to um, meet uh, uh, while you're here. So if you would, would you introduce yourself and and say what um, either what subject or what uh, place that you like to paint you want to paint. So um, and you may hear that so that uh, we can do some networking and pop ups and other kinds of things. But. Just your name and then your favorite um, scene or, or uh, place you'd like to paint. So I am going to start right here. If you would just introduce yourself. Okay, Gail Kotowski. I think you're going to have standard. Um, okay. Or just speak louder. Uh, Gail Kotowski, I have absolutely no idea how to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're going out every time. <laughs> Bobby Patrick, and then I would like to paint gardens or cityscapes with people. With was an interest and enjoy that's the subject. It's my better half. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could talk about us. Yeah. <laughs> Susan, um, I just like to paint where everybody else is painting. So this is Love Susan Haby. Yeah. <laughs> Susan Haby. Um, been painting for a while. So, yeah. Okay. Not shortly, I like to paint out in parks and a lot of architecture. I'm Dee O'Hare and I love to paint on the river walk. I'm Pam Herman, I'm from Indiana and I'm so excited to be up here. This is like a magic day. Um, and I pretty much like to paint whatever's in front of me. <laughs> you know, it is actually helpful for people to say where they live. Uh, where do you, where are you? Where are you? Chicago, Northside, Northside, Arlington Heights. Oh, do this together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Susan. I'm from South Barrington. Hometown. Uh, Chicago downtown. Um, Michigan City. Yeah. I'm Lori Carpenter. I'm from Chesterton, Indiana, and. Um, <laughs> I'm primarily a landscape painter, but I would like to start painting city scenes. I'm Fabiola. Um, I live here in Chicago, and um, I like to paint nature, but then also buildings. <laughs> I'm Virginia. I live in the Ukrainian village here, and um, I love to paint reeds and swamps. But I'm really excited to paint um, in the city, too. 
and Christine, and uh, I like to paint uh, nature and some city scenes. I just struggle a little bit when there's too many people stopping and talking because I'm an introvert and I just. Uh, I, so. I live in Womad, sorry. No, so the city. Yeah, I'm Luther Khalil. I live in Chicago with Sudeville. I, I love to, I'd like to paint um, the cityscape, something like that. I mean, not, mm -hmm. not that quality because I'm a beginner, but that sort of stuff. <laughs> City buildings and uh, architecture. And I'm Jim. I'm from Woodstock. And I probably, I haven't done too much city scenes. When I was raised, but I love the North Pond area. Mm -hmm. I've painted there before, and somebody bought a painting right on the site. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was great. Yeah. I'm Abby Ganshu. I'm uh, from Oak Brook. And I like to paint architecture, but also some of the lakefront and harbors. I'm Monica Curry, and I'm from the Western town. I paint watercolors, and I like to focus on architecture. We're going to know really well where Monica lives because <laughs> we're going to be painting on her roof one evening. Oh, oh cool. And it's a 360 degree view of Chicago, so you can look any direction. Awesome. So, uh, and, and Monica's been working very hard in all the locations with Abby. So, thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, Tobin Richter. I live in Lincoln Park. Uh, my paintings turn out best if I paint the distance very, very, very faint and the foreground very, very bold, but I usually forget. <laughs> I'm Robin Strand. I'm from Lincoln Park, and I like to paint botanic gardens and places like that because I don't like bus exhaust in my face. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Richard Laurent. Uh, I live in Printer's Row and I like to paint. I'm Kim Obani, I'm from Willowbrook, and I am really interested in the city states this time. Kim has a, uh, pro, um, has a show coming. We'll be here in March, June, June, sorry. Don't come too early. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready yet. Support, support other artists before Thank that. You. Uh, I'm Priscilla Huang. I live um, close to downtown. Um, I like to paint variety just you know, for practice, but for now I like to paint more garden, garden things. Hi, I'm Tatiana. I'm from Wendy. I'm mostly a studio artist, so I'm starting just to try and get outdoors. Somebody will have got this. <laughs> I'm Joanne Harling Larson, and I live in the South Loop. Probably my favorite place that we've gone here is Bobble Link Meadows. And it, it's really hard to get to, but it's very cool. It's south of the Museum of Science and Industry. Oh, yeah. And there's a little, I forget what this little park is that's Jackson very park. cool. Well, th it's all Jackson Park, but this little thing is, that's where most people are. What is it? Osaka Gardens. Osaka, Osaka Gardens. It's across the street, across the way, you have to come in here. It's a great little path. Don't go by yourself, it's a little isolated. But it's a great little path that goes in, and then there's a beautiful cement place where you put everything. It's awesome and undiscovered. And then you look at Osaka Gardens. And you get the river. It's really nice. Yeah. And I just want to make a comment about that. We were actually supposed to be painting across the street, but that's what happens. Everybody kind of finds their own place. So when you're out with us at some point, uh, we've got a great discovery out of that. Yeah. Great ball check. The community village. My favorite place to paint is uh, anywhere outdoors. Most of the better like that. My name is Laura. I live in Chicago in Humboldt Park. Um, wherever I'm at, I like to just paint something that captures the vibe of like the normal life in that area and animals. Okay. Hi, I'm Liz Wall. I'm from Palos Park and also Traverse City, Michigan. So I like to do the city and the beaches. Nice. Hi, Kathleen Newman. Uh, I live in uh, like East Randolph, Mineral Harbor. 
and soon to be in Michigan City as well. Oh. And moving out of Phoenix. We have the Doodlin Plein Air painters yes, in I Michigan know. City, so <laughs> all welcome. I love painting the dunes, uh, harbors, and the yeah. Chicago River. And Kathleen is one of our uh, guest artists in this past year. We're kind of moving people. We're circulating the guest artists, but uh, she's a wonderful artist. I'm Karen Goldstein. I live in Hyde Park. Um, I love to paint houses, so I'm living in the wrong place. <laughs> I tend to take photos when I travel, and I tend to usually paint in a studio, so I'm looking forward to being outdoors. I'm Wendy Easton, and I also live in Hyde Park. And I've been getting out and painting in Washington Park and Jackson Park. Yeah, I'm Jimmy Gang. Uh, I do both portrait and figure and landscape. So my goal is uh, I like to travel and like to know more about all different cultures. That's why I try to learn both so I can bring on the culture into my landscape. That's that's what uh, really my passion, my favorite. Nice. I'm Judith Sweetwood and I live in uh, Lindenhurst and um, I'm more of a studio painter so right now I'm just up for trying anything outdoors. <laughs> um, I'm Mary Beth Mellon. I live in Harvard, Illinois. I am a trained animator. I worked in animation and I joined the Talent and Chisel to just, and I, I'm really a figurative painter and portrait painter and somebody came behind me and said, you know, you really should try plein air painting. And I said, why? <laughs> I really like painting here. And, and I, I like to be outside. I wanted to be outside and enjoy it. Nothing compares to plein air painting. It, it's beyond. I really like it. So my goal is to combine all of them. I have taken my plein air and put animation over it. So that's something that I'm kind of fooling around with right now. Um, I'm Christine, and I live on the north side, and I'm putting wood with us, and I'm trying to fight a lot of resistance. <laughs> <laughs> getting intimidated, uh, getting up in the morning, all of that stuff. <laughs> but Christine found us one of our locations for this year, a new one for us, so it's at uh, Buena Park um, entrance to the, uh, the lakefront. And found us a restroom there. That's the big deal. <laughs> but uh, Christine, you know you've been out. We know you're going to be out that day. So. <laughs> yes, I have to be there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Ann Spelt. I live in East Lakeview, and my landscape paintings have been almost exclusively based on photographs. Like I'm just finishing a series based on photos I took in uh, the whole rainforest of roots and nurse logs, but I really like to get the plein air painting going so that I have a complement to that kind of work. Hi, I'm Sue Malone. I live in Barrington, but I grew up in this neighborhood. Um, I enjoy hearing about all these places. I love to play, paint in North Pond, Riverwalk, Lincoln Park, City Scenes, Lakefront, any of the parks, Millennium Grand Park, the lakes from the harbors, Chicago is so exciting. I just love it. <laughs> My name is Sue Whitney. I'm from Barrington. Um, I, whatever I see, I look around, and it's regardless, I just love to paint. It, it doesn't, anything is working for me. <laughs> I'm Rachel Lattimore. I'm from Lafayette, Indiana. But I used to live in Springfield, and I was always coveting this group, but it was just too far to draw. <laughs> and the Watercolor Society in Springfield is very active, and I helped coordinate their plein air group. And so we did a lot of plein air painting. But moving to Indiana, I, talk about fear. Nobody ever said, oh, I love to plein air paint. <laughs> OK, look, and they just they freak out. Yeah. So I'm glad that I'm close <laughs> enough I can connect again to a group of People that get to intimidate me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joe Marvin, and uh, I live up in Skokie, and I paint at the Chicago Botanic Gardens a lot. I love to paint outdoor landscapes. And uh, I've joined the group here so I could get more in tune with uh, painting the city. That's a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He and I discovered Osaka Gardens together. Yeah, that bubble. Yeah, that bubble. and it was just a beautiful experience. Oh. So, uh, this is a good group to be a part of. Hi, I'm Jennifer Hoffman. I live in Lakeview, and I'm a 
But the interesting thing too is Bill is a landscape designer. So <laughs> what, what a neat mix. There's nothing like knowing what it really looks like under a tree to paint a real tree. <laughs> it all works. Sana. Um, I'm Hannah Bilechka, and I live um, in Chicago, northeast side, and I like uh, to paint um, the lake and beach sceneries, and I also like cityscapes. My name's Errol Jacobson, um, and I like painting uh, urban landscapes, the grittier the better. And uh, just as a plug, um, I teach plein air painting here at the Palo Chisel, and I've got a workshop coming up June. I think it's June 7th and 8th. It's a two-day workshop, and we'll be painting in the city. It's open to all levels. Thanks. It's a great workshop. Yeah. And the other thing, can I just say one more thing about that? That the week before um, that uh, workshop, uh, Errol is going to be our guest artist that week, and so you'll actually get to test it a little bit too. But, but I'm, I'm expecting that will be filled up before then. But um, anyway, he will be one of our guests. Yeah, artists. and I, I took Errol's uh, plein air workshop. Oh, it must have been seven years ago now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it just kick-started my, uh, my, my path. He's, he's an excellent teacher in, in plein air painting. You know, you'll learn an awful lot. Mine too. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Another guest I'm artist. Ray Radke. Uh, I, I'm actually one of the, one of the uh, charter members of uh, this, uh, I think along with Nancy and and uh, Kathleen, I don't know who else is here. Uh, original. Uh, Errol's my arrow came a few later. years later. Yeah. Anyway, I'm from Lake Zurich, but I was born and raised in Chicago. And I'm coming back here, uh, starting with Scott Powers, uh, was just a great revelation for me. I wanted to get back into fine art and painting. And, uh, and somebody mentioned about bus smell. I mean, I love the energy of this city. Uh, I, I don't mind painting next to a bus stop. Nancy Mertz, last year, I mean, right at a bus stop. Yes, it is. Right on the curb. <laughs> yeah. 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 A couple of beautiful She's pieces. Yeah. So the energy here is something that I think all of you are going to benefit from. Uh, and, and we're all here to help uh, to uh, see if do that. So, uh, Lee is going to be one of our guest artists as well, and uh, what I like about with with Lee and, and, and Steve too, they particularly identify something that they want to work on, and so we'll be talking about that a little later too. But he'll be one of our guest artists during the season. One last thing, I have a one man show going at the White House at, up in Barrington mm -hmm. on the twenty first. It's in, in two weeks. Yep. I'm going to send out an email, but uh, for anybody who uh, it's a long way from here, but uh, easily easily uh, accessible to by metro. You just hop on the train and you could walk from from the metro train right to the White House. The interesting thing about it is I, I did a show last year uh, at the Maritime Museum. I did a number of, of ships of these big uh, Great Lake freighters, and I'm going to have that at the oh, as good. well as uh, Chicago uh, painting. So good. If you're Available, come up. It's only for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> six, from six to eight o'clock. Uh, but you do get hors d'oeuvres and refreshments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is uh, Buell Cole. I'm mainly a figurative and portrait painter, mm -hmm. but I really love plain air painting. I've always loved plain air painting. But my goal is to try to take my figurative painting experience and incorporate it into urban landscape. And I'm looking at this as not only a catalyst to get out, uh, but also an opportunity to hone my plain air painting skills so I can do a better job of combining it. So one of the things with our um, this year with our um, paint outs is that the day that Bill Schneider is one of our guest artists, we'll, we'll be hiring a model so that we have a person in place, a clothed model. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we will have somebody and, and really talking about that. So we've seen different things. Bill will be there to do that. Barbara? Hi, I, uh, my claim to fame is I let you all in. <laughs> but I, um, yes, I've been a plein air painter, and um, I'm very interested in the city stuff. And like Cole, I'd like to incorporate more figures, 
into a city scene as we are going along, and I'm like, Earl, I like the pretty stuff. I like the, the less the, the less attractive stuff in the city because they can be very attractive. Mm -hmm. I'll do the landscape every now and then too, but I've got to practice <laughs> my greens. And Barbara has a show coming up in September 20th. 20th, yeah, wow. at the reception on September 20th. Yeah. Here, right here, mm -hmm. and here and there. <laughs> uh, who's ever next over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm Kai Constantino, but I'm from the Indiana Lakefront, and I'm very interested in, in, you know, in putting the figure in a landscape or in a cityscape. Because um, it just doesn't seem right to have it without an insect or, or you know, something figurative. You know, if it's just, because that's not normal or natural, it seems to me, so. In Chinatown, I would really like to do a Chinatown series, so I've started that. So I'd like to spend more time there. Okay, good. Hi, I'm Sean. Um, my, I live in the Loop right now, but my favorite subject is natural landscapes um, with as little human activity as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I might be in the wrong place. <laughs> But I'll, get, I'll try to get out of my comfort zone and do cityscapes as well, because it'll, it'll be good development either way. Hi, I'm Jerry. Um, I live up in the Edgewater neighborhood, and I love painting the lakefront, because I can ride my bike over there and uh, just ride up and down the lakefront and paint. And Jerry's the person that's been really working with Jen Stanley on all the exhibits, so if you have exhibit ideas or whatever, please see Jerry. Hi, my name is Rich Moyer. I'm from Appleton, Wisconsin. Oh, you get the prize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I like to do mainly landscapes, and but I find my paintings now gravitate towards more where humans interact with the landscape, like bridges, old barns, things like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. I'm Lynette Redner, and I'm from uh, Delavan, Wisconsin, which is kind of Lake Geneva, Whitewater area, and I live in the middle of a huge farming community. So. A lot of my paintings are uh, animals on farms. Uh, I do like historic buildings, and I've been following the group for about the last eight months, and I'm excited and down number. So we'll see if I can get down here or not. And I have lots of areas where there are no people. <laughs> <laughs> you let us know if you need a room somewhere. I bet we can help you uh, find a place to stay. Hi, my name is Alvina Perez. I live in the Archer Heights. And as you know, I paint everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever. So Junior's claim to fame last year is that, did you miss any paint outs? Mm -hmm. I Two. Yeah, so he, he, he gets the prize for that. <laughs> for hitting as almost every single paint out. And, uh, and for most of the season, he was painting something about that on the bag that he brought. To, um, until I guess that didn't work anymore, but um, really amazing. So, great. Uh, I'm Jane Mason, and I'm primarily a watercolorist and a textile artist. And in watercolor, I like to do any sort of landscape and gardens, and I'm sort of currently obsessed with water. So it doesn't have to be like a lake, it could be a puddle or a bird bath, but just kind of obsession with water. And um, with the textiles, I'm really looking at whatever that intersection is between textile art and watercolors. And I figure since I paint on cotton, Paper. There has to be a cotton crossover. So, and just to make a comment um, related, but we have 65% oil painters, 20% uh, um, water, and 15% pastels. Hi, I'm, I'm Tom. Tom Quartz from the far south side. Uh, I used to know the north side real well when I was a young man, but now I have to relearn it since I'm an older guy. <laughs> I have trouble trying to find parking and stuff like that. Yeah. I got hooked on uh, Plain Air going up to Door County for my uh, vacation and then having the uh, competition up there. And I don't know, four or five years I went up there watching that and I finally decided I was going to jump right in and try it. So that's what I'm trying to do. Thanks, Good. 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 Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm Ann, Ann Gallagher, and um, I live real close by, only like a 10-minute walk down in the intersection of Chicago and Wabash. We 
And so that's an awesome thing. And so it gives me no excuses, except for my work as a writer, which I just quit last week. So I'm so excited. I enjoy painting everything. Nancy. Hi, uh, Nancy King Mertz. I live about three miles north of uh, Lincoln Park, Lakeview. And uh, I love to paint cityscapes, uh, both in oil and pastel. And I teach uh, around the country and actually in Europe um, architecture, cityscape, uh, mostly in pastel is what I teach. But um, anyway. And Nancy is one of our guest artists this year as well. So, great. And where's Lori? Is, I, she was standing right here. Oh, oh, great. She was. Uh, Lori Kennard. I live not too far from Nancy. <laughs> He's like you. And I like to paint cities, figures, whatever. Good. Good. Uh, real quickly, everybody from the other side. You? Oh, me? I'm Deerfield. I live in Deerfield. Um, and uh, what do I like? I like Botanic Garden, um, Montrose Harbor. Um, yeah, <laughs> whatever I can. Bees. 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 Oh, yes. Anything to do with bee, bee hives. That's right. That's true. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, now where is it going? Got it. Just but, something about the north side? Oh, I just want to, so just so you can see again, how many people are from the north side? Okay, how about west side? Indiana? Do you, do you probably all know each other? Do you, uh, uh, Wisconsin? Downtown, right here, Loop. Okay. Did I miss any? Suburbs. Suburbs? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So fabulous. Thank you, everybody. Um, if you order hot bellies, it's over here in the dining room. And we have some pop. If you didn't get a lunch, there's a 7 Eleven at the corner. And, oh, and the um, alpha order, alpha vertical order by your last. By your last. Folks, I'll also mention Blick Art Materials is here. If you want to try out some of the new cadmium free paints from Utrecht that Joe was instrumental in formulating, we have a little demo going as well. Yeah, thank you, Blick. Yeah.